Oh, what's happening, my people? So it's your boy Chance Jollivan, aka Smooth, back with another video. So today, very special one. This is something right here. I've been procrastinating like a few weeks on getting these and finally pulled the trigger. The story of how and why I got these, I was kind of, I've been wanting them Trophy Room 7s and it had like a cheaper pair on GOAT. I was thinking about getting, they sold, uh, but then I seen these, I follow Kicks Finder on Twitter. And so they posted the white and blue pair. And so I clicked on the link, they were sold out. And I'm like, I don't know what this site is. And so I went on there and I was like, let me see what else they got. They had this pair. And this is the pair that I wanted. And no shipping, no tax. Had to jump on it. So with no further ado, let's get it. Cue of the music. New shoes, new shoes. Boy, Nike makes some good shoes. Ain't gonna do too much, no razzle dazzle or anything. We're gonna get right into it. So this site, the Dark Side Initiative, like this site, the store or whatever, I think it's from tracking, I would say it's based in, in uh, San Francisco. So I don't know too much about them. But Kicks Finder, they post legit stuff. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was legit. They uh posted it or whatever. So I bought the Kicks, came in super quick. Came in like two days. But check it out. Cut up on here real quick. Yes, sir. So got the stuff. Let me try to just cover up my information. See if you see like Dark Side Initiative and see the price and stuff. Like, hey, no, no tax, no shipping. Man, you can't beat that nowadays because everything made it go eBay and stuff. They be taxing the ass off Mercari. Everything is taxing. I don't know how they can get away with that, that government wise, but I'm not mad at it. So, I, they have taken good care of the package, like they have wrapped it up, and we got the box over here, this is the first time I've seen the, I've seen the shoe online and stuff, but I don't know if I've necessarily seen that box, but uh, yeah, so the box, the box is looking good, it's like a creamish type color, got that Nike on there. Like I'm, I'm elated with these. Like these are the original Jordans or whatever. Like Jordan ones, that's his first pair. But this is what he started off his playing career with. So I don't think a, some younger people or whatever. Some people might be like, oh, those might be. Uh. But for historical purposes and just sneaker culture wise and being a historian and stuff like that. These are beautiful to me, like, and then the movie Air came out recently and stuff, and I don't think that these have been retro. I think this is the first time that they are breaking these out, so these are the Air ships. I think that they had, like, like special packs here and there, but, like, this is the first time they really dropping them, like, in the PEs or whatever. But, anyways, see the lid, nothing too special. Got a big book. So you got an airship and a unique cushioning system as we built into the Nike airship. The best, the best, but I call it lightweight, a polyurethane, encapsulated air sole protection, demands a hot wood. I believe about Nike air sole, probably urethane, mid sole, the one of them, and them, and But they got a lot of information regarding the shoe. I like it. I like it. I'm going to peep that out later. Y'all not worried about that. White paper. Yeah, let me quit procrastinating because I hate whenever I watch a sneaker video and pee, and it take a million years to get to the shoe. But here we go. And this is the this is the pair that I wanted. They had the white and orange pair that's going for pretty cheap prices, man. The white and blue pair, that's a pair that I wouldn't have mind minded getting. Well, those are all nice. The white and green pair is cheap, but I got like some white and green pair shoes like recently and stuff. And the white and the and yellow pair, 
they cool, but it's like, uh. But this, only thing is like I have a lot of white and red, but you can't be mad at white and red, man. Like, that's just, thing I like about these, I love the material. I think I had like some 14s that had like, this, it was like the Jaw 14 Sands or something. I got rid of them. Like, they weren't the most comfortable shoe in the world, but I love this material. It's, it's that Jordan 14 sand material, but uh, I like it. Hopefully, it feels better on feet, but comes with, with uh, red laces that's in the shoe, but they also have the, the white laces, or maybe they might be a cream-type lace. And this right here, natural cracks in the upper normal due to some random uh, blase blase. So that is like uh, this upper part right here and like the check area. But this is like uh, like these. They got the little cracks and, and stuff in them. So it's the same type of thing. Except for it's just on the small area. It's just up here. This right here is like that rough new buck suede. And I'm not mad at it. I, I like these. They do have that Jordan the one that that soul where it's where it's like aged, uh like the lost and founds or whatever. But people not gonna see that. So if you like it or dislike it, it really don't matter. The back, they got their every game. I like the cursive on there. I do like Nike Air on the back. They have that on the normal ones, but I don't like the font. If they had Nike Air like this, I think it would be dope. But just that plain Nike hair, hair that the regular ones have, I don't necessarily like that. But you see got that age like tongue. These are pretty much like, man, if you have not got the lost and founds, these probably, these like a, a poor man's lost and found type shoe. And then it's like these came before the ones or something. Some people might look and be like, man, what are those, man? I ain't never seen them before. But that's part of the... That's part of the, the beauty of the shoe. Because it's like, man, people have not seen this. But it has that just old Nike aesthetic to it. Like, man, I I like these. I hate the fact that I'm doing these videos. And I'm going to have to, like, take the laces off now to do the on foot and stuff. And I kind of would like to just bask in the beauty of these for a while. And not even do any of that. Like, it doesn't necessarily need an on foot and stuff because it's not like the shoe is brand new. Like, it came out not too long ago, but it's not new enough to be like, oh, YouTube exclusive. People have did videos of these and stuff. But anyways, I'm, I'm happy to have these in the collection, man. I think that these things, these things are super fly, super dope. Mid sole got like a creamish type color, like none of it's like too much white, except for like the every game is white. The sizing you see, the sizing is, is in the inside, size nine and a half. So that's my my size in case you want to send some. But uh, got paper in the inside, got it just a jump man, got the little sticker in the inside. But I'm uh, I'm gonna put these on. And I'm not going to end the so don't turn the video off after the on foot because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the on foot and I'm going to tell you the size and I'm going to tell you like how they fit or whatever. So that's going to be like the after credits part like Fast and Furious. But anyways man, yeah, thanks.
hopefully you watch the on foot section of the video and stuff. I think they feel slightly snug, but not in a bad way. I feel like it's similar to a Jordan 1, but it has a little bit more cushion on the inside. So that'll make them feel a little bit more snug, but it's not necessarily bad. I would say true to size, but you can probably go up maybe a half a size. But I think that like that little snugness or whatever, that little bit of cushion, I think that when it breaks in, it's not going to feel as, as cushioned on your foot. So... I think it would be, me personally, I think it would be best to go true to size because once they break in and they feel a little looser, they're going to feel, they're going to feel great. But I don't want to jump out the window, but I, I, Jordan 1 is not necessarily the most comfortable shoes in the world, but I think these feel a little bit more comfortable with their little bit of their cushion and stuff. Like they just feel thicker in the, on the inside than a normal Jordan 1 does. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest and the most hated, man. Dark Side Initiative. I don't know who y'all are or whatever, but uh, shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for this. I ain't gonna say sale, but thank for the sale.